Indeed, all things are working together for our good. Guess what? In the next 24 hours, Spurs Dome is about to be uh, charged up. Of course, our Dome Praise is here again, and we're preparing for that big day. I have a surprise for you. Travis Green is here. Um, I'm giving you a Ghanaian name, Kweku Green. Oh, <laughs> Kweku. Thank you so much. Bless well, welcome you. to Ghana. I'm excited to be here. Uh, is this your first time here in of the country? Of course not. What kind of question is that? Okay. I'm from Ghana. No. <laughs> My wife is, is right. from Ghana. Her father lives here in Accra. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so, no, I've been here several, several times. It's like a second home. Yeah. Um, actually, my first trip to the continent of Africa was here in Accra, Ghana, back in 2007. And so um, I've been here in between then and now several times, more times than I can yeah. count. But I love Ghana. Beyond the return, I say. It's and <laughs> of course, uh, part of the reason is because you have an interest here. And we know that our little sister... Yeah. Gives you uh, a lot of joy, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Jacqueline Abner Adensi <laughs> Jumpy Green. Her father, yeah. Dr. Yaw Jumpy, is here in Accra. Mm -hmm. um, she's doing great. Uh, and so she's with me on this trip. I also brought my little ones. I brought my, my oh, sons. Yeah, it's their first amazing. time in Africa. And so uh, we're excited to be here. We're just going to have a lot of fun and, and rejoice and worship God together. Yeah. So Christ is at work. That's the theme for this year's At Dawn Praise. Um, what should patrons be on the lookout for? I mean, it's going to be high energy, a lot of praise, uh, really rejoicing in, in who God is and what he's done. Um, he's been so good to Ghana. Um, he's been so good to the continent mm. of Africa. And, and no one prays like Africans. I mean, you can go anywhere on the planet. Yeah. The level of energy that you're going to get um, and, and anywhere, any atmosphere of praises in Africa is leaps and bounds beyond anywhere else. Yeah. And so I'm excited to be here. It's going to be a lot of energy at Perez Dome tomorrow night, 6 p.m. We're going up. And it's going to be fun. Uh, of course, be the, 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 the little bits are telling us that you didn't hesitate to be a part of this. Yeah. Uh, was it because, well, you're getting used to Ghana or it's because of that attachment that you're bringing on board? Uh, I think a little bit of both. You know, Ghana for me is second home. I have a ton of friends here, Prophet Gideon Denso. Um, Pastor Joseph Stein, Empowerment Worship Center, um, and so many other churches and prophets and, and movements of God. I just really love Ghana. Uh, and so for me, um, anytime I could come back, I try to get back at least once a year. And I haven't been back since pre-pandemic. Oh, So it's been a while. That's, yeah, that's uh, been so a yeah, time. I've missed it quite a bit. And so I'm excited to be back. Well, I'm just uh, curious, what do you miss about Ghana? Well, you know, there's a competition about the jollof rice being better <laughs> here than Nigeria. <laughs> I'm in Nigeria a lot mm -hmm. as well, uh, but the food, the culture, the yeah. smells, the music, the energy, um, Ghana just hits a little different. And I, you know, I think being married to a Ghanaian for me is just a special attachment yeah. with this region um, of the world. And mm -hmm. so I'm excited every time I'm back. Uh, and as a gospel artist, I'm sure that you've been up to a lot as well. Yeah. Um, can you share that briefly with us? Absolutely. We just did a new project uh, this past August called Tent Revival. Mm -hmm. And so here on this trip, we'll be doing new material from that project as well. I've uh, been writing, producing, putting out new music, and I'm just excited to share um, even the, the old hits, but also some new songs that um, has been on our hearts. And so we're bringing all of it. And what's going to be unique about tomorrow's performance? Well, it'll be, again, it'll be my first time back in Ghana since pre-pandemic. So I think that alone is going to be unique, I think. It's been about three years since I've been here. Um, and so this is one of the first countries um, really in Africa that I even understood the magnitude of my impact. I didn't know yeah. what, that the music was reaching as many people. And I came here and performed in Ghana. And I was like, oh, my God, back in, I think it was 2015, 2016. And so um, from then on, you know, it just had a special place in my heart. Sometimes I go back and look at the footage from that yeah. event because that was the first time that I knew, oh, man, the world is singing this music. Yeah. And so... Um, I think tomorrow is going to be unique uh, just because, again, it's, it's the first time in a long time and I'm home. Yeah. So I'm bringing all of all my energy, all my passion, and we're going to have a good time. Yeah. And Travis, if, if I tell my audience now that you're going to be there, perhaps they may doubt me. So let me give you the final opportunity <laughs> to speak right to my audience and tell them about tomorrow's I Don't Praise. Well, I, I mean, the proof is that I'm sitting here in the studio in a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't going to be there, I'd still be in America. No, I'm at, at Perez Dome. Uh, tomorrow, 6 p.m. for Adam Praise Fest uh, 2022. Um, it's going to be amazing. You know, uh, I'm here. Uh, we landed a few hours ago, and we're here in Accra, Ghana. Uh, really no place on the planet like it. And so meet me there, uh, and let's worship God together. Yeah, and we're all worshiping together. So you need to be at uh, the Paris Dome, 6 
PM. PM. Yeah, starting off. Travis Green is in Ghana. Be a part of Adun Prix uh, this year. You're watching The Pulse. We'll be back shortly. <laughs>